to your friends. Uh, good afternoon. So it's noon. And uh, I know that the people from the Northeast are having better time now. It was about time because you had it rough. And uh, anyway, I'm going to wait a few minutes to see who comes into our, our live broadcast. And you know what happens is that sometimes people ask me, well, you need to talk about when you lose stitches or when you were supposed to make a yarn over and you didn't. And so we're going to be talking about those things today. And uh, um, we are having a series of, of things that we need to revise. For example, Anna is going to be posting um, the different ways to cast on. And also we're going to, hello, how are you? Where are you from? Priyanka, okay. And uh, also, uh, okay, how are you from Buffalo? I hope you're feeling better because you had a lot of snow and it was very, very cold. Thank you very much for being with us. Hi, Ana. <laughs> so nice to see you. Buenas tardes. Qué bueno, Alicia. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much for being with us. Hi, from Arkansas. Okay, Sissy. Okay, so from India, yes. Yeah, well, it must be like 8 o'clock at night, something like that there. So thank you very much for being with us. And uh, from Tennessee, oh my goodness, thank you for being. I'm so happy that you're not having so much cold. You had it rough in the Northeast States and uh, Buffalo and, you know, all, it was bad, but... I hope you're having spring already. So what happens is that sometimes you lose stitches and you don't know how to pick them up or you were supposed to do a yarn over and you don't want to go back and pick it up and you know where it's supposed to be but it's not there. So uh, from Iraq, oh my goodness, thank you very much. From Argentina, muchas gracias. Thank you, muchas gracias. Los hombres también tejen, eh? In the old times, it, were, it was men who used to knit, so women took care of children and men knitted, and it, you know, we just take turns. And now it's, uh, and uh, we both do. I have male students also and they just have a lot of fun knitting because it's so good for the soul it's so good for for um uh relaxing and and it's just so nice to be able to to uh do your own knits and they're great gifts so anyway we're going to be talking about picking up lost stitches and i'm going to take the camera and uh, put it down here so that you can see what I'm doing. And thank you very much again to, for being with us. Just a second, I'm going to move my camera. I hope it doesn't go away. Okay, so I think I'm okay there. Can you see me? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, you see what happens is that sometimes... I might lose, let me move my chair here. So I lost a stitch there on purpose. See? And so, oh my gosh, and sometimes you're like ahead and you don't know what happened. And okay, so as soon as you lose a stitch, and I'm going to take it down a few more so like that you can see how to pick that up. So as soon as you see that you lost a stitch, go and find a pin or something like that. Anything that can hold it in place, even if it's one of those twisties from the supermarket. So anything can do. You can use a pin and put it in there so that it doesn't go any further. And now what you want to do 
is that you want to bring your stitches back to that space or knit, you know, I can I can purl down to that space there, but if I want to take stitches off, you go, you turn it, and with your left hand, hold on to your yarn, and take those stitches from back to front, so pick it up, and take it off, pick it up, and take it off, and like that, I can see which space that stitch was supposed to be at and it's right there okay so now I turn and I have my the right side of my work there and this is a very easy thing because it's all this is this is all jersey this is all straight stitch so pick up a hook a crochet hook and Take your pin off and put your crochet hook in there. So now I have my crochet hook, my needles are here, and I am going to go in the back of these stitches. So put your crochet hook in the back of your stitches and pick it up one by one. So I am going to pick it up. The next one is that one, the ladders that are across, and pass it through. So again, I'm going to go into the back of the next ladder, see it, and pass it through. And then again, I go in the back of that ladder and pass it through. And then again, pick it up. Okay, sorry, I don't know what you missed, but I'm going to do a few more so that you can see what I did. So, I'm so sorry I got disconnected. But okay, let's do this again. I put my hook in here, like in there. And I go in the back of that stitch, of that ladder and pass it through and then in the back of that ladder again and pass it through and in the back of that ladder of the next one on top and pass it through and now I can put my stitches on my needle and now I knit them so now you go back and, and knit that space so let's make believe that your a stitch got pulled so oh my goodness one of my stitches got pulled let's do that so let's make believe that stitch got pulled so now it's too loose see let, let's pull it a little more and now it became very loose what you want to do first is kind of wiggle it in like so pick up your work and nothing is going to happen to it and now little by little you can pass from one side to the other on the stitches that are on the sides it doesn't go up and down, on the sides so like that you can even that stitch and then no more pull. Okay, so another thing. Let's make believe that I'm going to put this here so that you can see what I'm doing. Another thing, so let's make believe that you're doing a washcloth. And here I forgot to do the yarn over that I was supposed to do. And and I didn't notice until I come back because see normally when you knit you will have if you're knitting one two three yarn over like the washcloth one two three yarn over and then knit all the way to the end of the row and then of course that means that you're going to have a yarn over that one before the last three so you're going to knit that because you are creating a new stitch 
So let's see what happens when I come back and I forgot to do the yarn over and so I need to do one, two, three because that's what the pattern is, yarn over and then I knit all the way to the end of the row but when I get to the end of the row I notice that my yarn over that's supposed to be there is not there. So let's see. See because my pattern is like that. I want I'm supposed to have yarn overs on the edges like so, like the washcloth that we have. And I don't have the yarn over from the time before. So what I want to do is this is where the yarn over was supposed to be because I, wa I was supposed to have a yarn over here after the three. So go and pick up that strand that connects your, st your two stitches. Pick up that strand, put it on your needle, and then you can create your yarn over. And no problem there. So it's just little tricks that you learned with experience, but this is, this is the stitch for the washcloth that we have and for the baby blanket that we also have. So you start with five stitches and you start increasing by doing one, two, three yarn over at the beginning of each row. And it becomes a very, very pretty thing. You can make shrugs and shawls and it's just very pretty. Anyway, thank you very much for being with us. Are you there, Anna? Let's see if this doesn't move too much. Oh, I guess, uh oh. Okay, it's Rick. Okay, thank you very much. What is the question? The video is about picking up lost stitches. So when you lose a stitch, you can pick it up. I think I I think you saw it. Did you see it? Yes, it is. It is like a mistake. So let's make the remember that. Did you see that? Yes. Thank you. Muchas gracias, Alicia. Muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Gracias. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your friend Hannah likes the videos where well, we have a lot of stuff. Yes, I had a pulled stitch. So if you pull, if you pull at a stitch, like, or it goes like that. So what you can do is go on the sides of that stitch and even it out. You can pull at the sides of the stitch to even it out. So like that, there's no problem. So that's the stitch that got stretched, and there you go. Muchas gracias, Alicia. Thank you very much. Where am I originally from? <laughs> um, I was born in Philadelphia. I grew up in Guadalajara in Mexico, and my father was French, and my mother was American, and uh, so I, I speak languages and so sometimes when I see people that write in Spanish I can answer in Spanish and sometimes I can answer in French and sometimes I most of the time I speak English because that's what our channel is about in English but uh, I, I am gifted I'm very lucky to be able to speak languages so that's an asset <laughs> and thank you very much for being with us and uh, like our page and subscribe because we are having a lot, a lot of uh, viewers and we enjoy being with us, with you. And thank you very much for being our friends and uh, thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. I, I, I want to go to India. I have a friend that has lived in India for a while and she just loves it. So she goes from Guadalajara and then she goes to India and stays there for a couple of years and then comes back to Mexico. So yes, 
<laughs> yes, it is. So, yes, I do have a funny accent, like my tongue got adjusted funny. But uh, thank you very much for everybody. Think it is. Thank you very much. And I will be seeing you. And uh, we're going to have a lot of videos on how to design your own nets. And Anna's going to be posting uh, the ones on how to, different ways of casting on. And uh, so we're all into that new thing of uh, we're going to make a very uh, a pullover to start with so very very simple in the front and in the back and how how to uh, come up with your numbers and all that but thank you very much and be well <laughs>